in the regions of Syria and Cilicia and Antioch, part 7. Where did Paul go after his 15 days at Jerusalem? Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and remained with him 15 days. I wish I could listen, could have listened to that conversation. The two great missionaries speaking to one another of the marvelous gift of God in the person of Jesus Christ. Afterward, I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia. Where did this kind friend Barnabas eventually found him? Then Barnabas departed for Tarsus to seek Saul. So Paul was back in his, in his hometown, town of his birth, preaching the gospel in Tarsus. He surprised the people. This ancient well from which Paul fetched water cries out, the Bible is true. There was a Paul, there was a Damascus. When we look at the chronology, we came to a conclusion that he had a marvelous vision during this time. Right here in his hometown, he saw something stupendous. Listen to what he writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago, whether in the body, I do not know, or whether out of the body, I do not know. God knows such a one was caught up to the third heaven. He tells of this experience that he had 14 years before writing the letter to the Corinthians. So this vision was given to him in Tarsus. You know, this makes a visit to Tarsus where he had the vision a very special place. Maybe you'd like to hear about the vision. Let's read it. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago, whether in the body or I do not know, or whether out of the body, I do not know. God knows such a one was caught up to the third heaven. There are not seven, only third, three. Here yeah, our atmosphere, the starry heavens, and then the abode of God, only three. He was in the presence of God. He was in heaven. And I know of such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows how he was caught up into paradise. Another word for the third heaven. That's paradise. We will be there when Jesus comes. He's going to take us there. Into paradise and heard inexpressible words which it is not lawful for a man to utter. So he never uttered these wonderful words, talking to Jesus. What an experience. I wish he had related more about what he saw. Are you looking forward to be in heaven one day? You know, there won't be any corruption. You won't have to swallow pain pills. You will not have depression. You will have no regrets. You'll be in the presence of God. And in His presence, there is no death, no pain, no sorrow. I'm looking forward to that day. And I want to meet you there. Meanwhile, during Paul's stay at, in Cilicia, Christianity had been progressing in other areas. You're looking at the place called Antioch. I was so happy when I could have visited this place. <laughs> There's such a lot of history. I can only show you a few pictures. There's not time for, for more. <clears throat> By the way, I visited a, an interesting museum there with the name of... Uh, Adatni Rari III is mentioned. He was the, the Syrian king who 
who was converted when uh, Jonah preached at Nineveh. A growing interest had developed at Antioch in Syria, and Barnabas had been dispatched from Jerusalem to foster it, to care for it. Listen to this fascinating story. Now those who were scattered after the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but the Jews only. What was going to happen here? But some of them were men from Cyprus and Cyrene who, when they had come to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists, preaching the Lord Jesus. So this good news spread in those days. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned to the Lord. The news of these things came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent out Barnabas to go as far as Antioch. When he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all that with purpose of heart, all that with purpose of heart, they should continue with the Lord. Continue with the Lord. Never cease to continue with him. It's the safest journey. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were added to the Lord. Deciding that he needed help, he journeyed to Tarsus, found Paul, and brought him back to Antioch with him. Paul, my friend, come, come. It's a long way, but let's go. Let's work for God. Paul was willing, and the two of them went. Then Barnabas departed for Tarsus to seek Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. We need to find people and invite them to work with you in the cause of the Lord. So it was that for a whole year they assembled with the church and taught a great many people. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. So here the word Christian was born. Paul and Barnabas worked together there for a full year with noteworthy success. As they labored in Antioch, certain ones having the prophetic gift came from Jerusalem. And in these days, prophets came from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of these, by the name of Achabus, was divinely inspired to predict a worldwide famine. You know, it's so wonderful to have prophets. And there's an end time prophet as well. Please listen to the prophetic words. Then one of them named Ahabus stood up and showed by the Spirit that there was going to be a great famine throughout all the world, which also happened in the days of Claudius Caesar. This is confirmed by archaeology. As a result of this, the believers in Antioch determined to send relief to the Christians of Judea. What a nice gesture. They chose Paul and Barnabas to take the contribution to Judea. Then the disciples, each according to his ability, determined to send relief to the brethren dwelling in Judea. This they also did and sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. They walked with all this money to their brothers in Jerusalem. Upon the fulfillment of their mission, Paul and Barnabas returned to Antioch, taking with them John Mark, a relative of Barnabas. Well, this is also a dramatic story. Then the disciples, each according to his ability, determined to send relief to the brethren dwelling in Judea. This they also did and sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. A dream which eventually became, sorry to say, a nightmare. More about a very sad incident in the lives of two bosom friends. 
Have you had a quarrel with your best friend? And departed from him. And this is our next episode. Thank you for watching this presentation. To subscribe to our channel, click here. Then click the bell to get notifications. For the next presentation, click here. See you next time.